Okay, so now we're going to have a look at a problem that involves time dilation. So the problem reads as such. An observer standing on a comet is watching as a satellite approaches at a speed of 2.30 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. The observer times on her watch that the solar panels on the satellite unfold in 75 seconds. Calculate how much time the observer sees as having passed on the satellite's clock. So with this type of problem, what we really need to ascertain is what is proper time. So if we start looking at our variables and what they're going to be, we can have a look at time. This will be dilated time, time prime, time uh, naught, which is proper time, and the velocity of the uh, satellite as it approaches the observer. Now, the velocity of the satellite, that's quite easy to find out. So here we have it here, 2.3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. However, we want to talk about what is proper time. Now, proper time here would be the time that passes on the clock that is stationed on the satellite. Now, because the observer is, a, is looking at the satellite, which is the moving frame, and is not within that moving frame, therefore, the 75 seconds would not be proper time. And that would be the dilated time outside of the satellite, which is moving towards the observer. So therefore, what we're trying to ascertain is what is actually proper time. Now, if we use the formula for time dilation, where we have t, t prime equals t proper time um, times the Lorentz factor, and we expand this a little bit further to be able to ascertain what the Lorentz factor is. We can start to, sorry, I'll just neaten up this so it looks proper. Um, we can start to ascertain what our proper time is going to be. Now, obviously, our dilated time is 75 seconds proper time is like so and this is going to be multiplied by 1 on square root 1 minus v so v was given to us before as uh, 2.3 times 10 to the 8 all squared all over 3.0 times 10 to the 8 all squared and there is a nice thing with the Lorentz factor that you can just get rid of these uh, prefixes to ease your calculations um, as you would and that that would give that t naught is equal to 75 times the square root of 1 minus 2.3 squared on 3.0 squared and t naught here ends up after we apply our calculations 48.15 seconds now this is this is we we can ascertain that yes this is maybe close to the correct answer it actually is the correct answer but why can we estimate that yes okay this this sounds correct it's because pr proper time is less than dilated time and because this is 48.15 seconds, that is less than the 75 seconds that the observer outside of the moving frame of reference observes.